Dumaloo asks, what's up, my brother? What up, dude? How you doing, man? Trying to get this piece looking like something. Hopefully, we'll have something kind of cool on our hands. Not sure. We're, we're in air, experimental mode here. Slackatron says, no bean chili is my go-to for dog toppings. Yeah. Dumaloo asks, ever had peanut butter on a hot dog? No. Oh my God, no. I, I, I mean, I don't mean like, oh my God, no, but like, oh my God, no, Dumaloo. Is that really a thing? I know some people like putting like pineapple. Psycho says I love me a good polished kraut. I know like some people Hubby like putting. says I thought I would use my laptop to do all my thermal scope stuff. Just realized I haven't turned on my laptop in a year and a half. Uh oh. Dear God, the updates. Yeah. No going on your Purple Daisy says it Dumaloo who hurt you. <laughs> Dumaloo says try it, it's tasty. Who hurt you? Blink. Blink twice if you need a safe place. I don't know if I can do peanut butter on a hot dog, man. I, I mean, there's crazy things out there, but I don't know. I don't know if I could purposely do that. It may be good. <laughs> Slackatron says peanut butter on a ballpark is okay, not going to lie. Uh, Dumaloop says asterisk SOS asterisk send help. <laughs> says I so appreciate how meticulous you are. Well, Kanara, girl, I, I blame my adopted dad. I literally blame my adopted dad. He always told me, son, no matter what you do in life, whether it's taking out the trash, is the job you do at work, or the piece you create, your name's on it. Your name's on everything that you do. It represents who you are. And I, I, just, I cannot get that I cannot get that out of my head. A job worth doing is a job worth doing right. Yeah, 100%. But I, I, can't, I can't ever get that, that out of my head. Man, I'll never forget that. Harrow at Purple Daisy 977. Hello. Try to get some of those little bitty, little bitty scratches out of that dude right here. This is 400 grit, and I'm just barely touching it. What I'm trying to do is just kind of buff that out. And here's, you'll never see this part unless you flip the sucker upside down. But if somebody does flip it upside down, I want to make sure it's pretty as I can make it. I'm even wondering if it'd even be worth it. I, I don't know if there's going to be enough material there, but I'd have to put a feed on there. I mean, this, this loop right here would be plenty enough. I just don't know how much vacuum is that's going to create. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't think it's going to be very much vacuum, to be honest with you. But it's... I really don't think so. I'm not feeling... It's not... It doesn't go far enough in there, and everything's kind of at an angle. So as soon as you slightly pull it back... As soon as you, it's not like a straight pull out. So the whole, everything's kind of angled. This is angled going in, and this is angled going in. So as soon as you pull it back a little bit, and I did that kind of on purpose, so it kind of slide down in place and square itself up. I don't think it needs feet, guys. I'm sitting here thinking about it. I don't think it does. I don't think it needs feet. It'd be a cool little addition, but I mean, is it the extras we do even worth it? Because that can just basically just sit on the ground. What do y'all think? Any any thoughts on that? I made a cool extra perk, but this is my first prototype, and I'm sure there's going to be mistakes on this dude. Maybe something cool for the next one. Purple Daisy says, I think you'll be okay. I think I will too, Purple. I really, I really think the piece is going to be just fine without putting feet on it. It's pretty, though. It's pretty. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's flip this dude over. I can come in and sand that up a little more. Well, let me do it a little more sanding on that. Turn these RPMs down. Because I'm going to cut a lot of that out. And I'm not overly concerned. 
technically, technically, if I have to do a little more cleaning up on this here, I can. No, no, I can't. I'm gonna call it, guys. Because a lot of this is gonna be gone. It's gonna be down to about right here. This will be the general thickness right in there. So most of that's gonna be gone. And we're gonna swoop it up with the top. So now we need to decide. Yeah, let's take it out. I think we're good. I think we're in a good spot. I'll probably forget about something as soon as I take this dude out of here. All right, so that right there, we got. We don't have very much longer. About another 30, 30 minutes. 30, 45 minutes. Let's put this dude over. Let's put the other piece back in, and let's start trimming this up and get this set to receive the top. Yes, we're making an overly complicated lit it fill box, guys. <laughs> and that would tell us more if we need to work on feet. I could probably add feet later on if I have to. That being a flat surface, it's not, it's not nearly as bad. Not nearly as bad. I hope everybody's having a good time. I keep saying that Hula has never met a project he can't overcomplicate. Uh, you're not. You're not wrong.